What's going on everybody? Once again, it's the Coffee King here and I decided to go ahead and get back into the Bones Coffee, but is the it is the final the final um, flavored coffee that is in the holiday sample pack. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. This is eggnog and it's the medium roast. Um, this is what it looks like. You guys can see, man. I love the packaging on these, even though, you know, a couple of them has been, eh, you know, not really too great. Um, I still like the packaging on it, so that's, that's a plus. Um, and as soon as we're done with this, we're going to jump right into the Minuteman Coffee, Minuteman Coffee, uh, probably later on this week. So, um, by the way, my hair is a wreck. Dude, I need a haircut, dude. Oh my God, my hair is getting so long right now. That's why I have my hood up, man, so y'all can't really see that. But you already done seen it. Let's jump right into this. We're going to open it. You guys can see it hasn't been opened yet. Go ahead and open it. Strong, that's a strong uh, eggnog aroma right there. All right, so um, let's go. All right, as you guys already know, we got the K cup right here. Pretty much just put your own coffee in it. Um, I'm gonna try to fill this up as much as I can to get all the flavor that I need. So. Uh, some of it came off alongside right there, but it's cool, man. It's cool. Close that. And we have ourselves a cake cup, man. We don't we don't bag us a cake cup, man. With our own coffee in it. As you guys know, I'm gonna be rocking heavy with the bones coffee cup here. Um, right now I gotta add more more water. really the only way to do it um, tap water does work perfectly fine man but um bottled water I think is just you know a lot better and um, you know where we stay at we have they said you know it's been all over the news you know it's been proven that where I stay at we have the most cleanest water in the world like our water is the cleanest like you get what i'm saying dude i mean i shouldn't have to explain it to you we have the cleanest water in the world and i still will not use it for my coffee sometimes you know if i, if I got no bottled water here then i will but um you know to me honestly bottled water is the best way to go sometimes sometimes depends on their uh what do they call it like the ph level in it depends on that um but I'm sure that my tap water will work perfectly fine. I just rather have bottled water. Anyways, the aroma of this right now, like I said, you can smell the eggnog in it. You can smell the roast of the coffee itself. Um, hopefully, this is going to be a good cup, man, because the last... I've had a couple of them from Bones so far, man, in a holiday sample pack that has not really, you know, blown me away. Um, so, hopefully, this is good. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we are, guys. I'm just going to give this a little stirry stir. This is part one of the reviews you guys can see. I mean, it's it's not got creamer or sugar in it. Nothing like that. So here we go. This is Bones Coffee. Eggnog. With no cream, no sugar. Part one of the review. Let's go. I'm not doing, man. I just hold it this way. What am I doing? Cheers, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. All right. I'm getting a little bit of spice in there. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. So um. You can definitely taste the medium roast of the coffee. The eggnog spice itself, like the spice that you put in the eggnog, is definitely coming through. 
making it taste like that eggnog that I like that I like and it's not too heavy it's not too heavy at all it kind of has like a cinnamon flavor to it as well if I'm not mistaken I can definitely taste some spice in there with a little bit of cinnamon um, but that's that is really good it goes down smooth <clears throat> yeah it goes down smooth the flavor is there the eggnog flavor is there the roast of the coffee is up to par to me um, bitterness wise it's not gonna have it's not gonna have the bitterness that some people like um, like this right here this don't have to be bitter for me to like it I actually like this without the bitterness it's crazy oh yeah oh yeah you guys know what it is man like I said from the the taste of the coffee the medium roast from the bean itself going down really smooth and the spice and that uh, I think that's cinnamon that's in there with it I'm not sure but whatever the spice game is in this right now it is working with me it is working with me so I'm gonna go ahead Bones Coffee for your eggnog with no sugar or no cream. I'm going to give you about a four and a half out of five on this one. We're going to go ahead, add the cream and sugar to this, and see what it does. So let's go. Okay, so for today's half and half, man, I do have half and half that I'm going to be putting in my coffee. Instead of rocking with the um, Kroger brand or the Walmart brand that I usually do like, and I absolutely love them, we're gonna go ahead and hit this with the Lando Lakes half and half because Lando Lakes knows how to hold it down too when it comes to that half and half flavor, especially when you put it in your coffee. Brand new, pop the top on it. We're gonna go ahead, pour just a little bit in there, put this to the side. Now we're gonna see what this coffee tastes like with the cream and sugar. Let's go. Like I said, I love the Kroger and Walmart brand half and half. That's usually what I drink. But I figure why not, you know? My nose itches a little bit. I figure why not go ahead and try and knock this out the park with some Lando Lakes half and half. So here we are, Bones Coffee. This is the eggnog from the Holiday Sample Pack with one sugar booger and a little bit of that Lando Lakes half and half, baby. Cheers. Okay, it's 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 definitely um just a hint sweet, just a hint of sweetness in it. You can still taste the spice of the eggnog that they use to put in eggnog into this coffee. Still goes down very smooth without no bitterness. And the cream itself, the creamer, the half and half itself, I believe made this a little bit more creamier. It's a little bit more creamier, added some color to it. Um this is all around a good cup of coffee. And without it being bitter, man, without it being bitter, I mean, I would definitely suggest you guys to try to find like an eggnog creamer out there. If you guys can try to find an eggnog creamer, definitely try to put that to work with this coffee. I mean, something else that you can try around next year. If you guys ain't got the Bones Holiday Sample Pack right now, next year, maybe, if you guys cannot find creamer, Try to pick you up just some eggnog, period. Just pick up some eggnog at your local Kroger. It could be the Kroger brand, Walmart brand, whatever it is. And just try to put that in your coffee along with this. You never know. You never know. It could be the best cup of coffee you've ever tried. But right now, we're just rocking with half and half creamer from Lando Lakes and one sugar. Still, all the great flavors are there. The roast of the coffee is there. The smoothness, there's no bitterness. It's sweetened up a little bit from the sugar and it's lightened up. Got a little bit of creaminess to it. And the spice from the eggnog is coming through. But, I'm still gonna have to stick with about a four and a half out of five on this. Four and a half out of five, that's not bad. It's almost there at the five mark. But 
I'm gonna be completely honest. If this had just a little bit, a little bit more of a spice, like an eggnog flavor to it, because I am getting the spice of the eggnog, but it's not as heavy as I want it to be. Now, um, if the coffee was a little bit more bitter too, or just a little bitterness to it, it would have gave it a five out of five as well. But we're just working with this right now. It's a medium roast. And it's a flavored coffee, so it's not going to be as strong. I understand that. Um, but yeah, Bones Coffee, if you see this, I mean, this is getting a four, four and a half out of five. That's not bad at all. But um, maybe try to put a little bit more spice of like the eggnog flavor in this and make it just a little bit bitter. Just a little bit bitter, man. And I'm telling you, this is going to knock it out of the park. I'm telling you. All around, great cup of coffee, four and a half out of five all the way around. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon once for your boy, like my videos, comment on my videos, share them on the other social media platforms, it's greatly appreciated. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this review, if you did, let me know in the comments, hit me with a thumbs up, and if you didn't, hit me with a thumbs down. Either way, you guys supporting me and showing me love is going to keep me pushing to keep busting these reviews out for you guys, I know that's what you guys like is when I drop these reviews. So keep doing that. Keep supporting me, man. Keep showing me love, and we'll get her done. Remember to love one another. Be there for one another. Be more positive. Find God and learn to love yourself more. Be blessed out here no matter what it is that you do for a career. It doesn't matter what you do, whether you're selling cars, you're working in the warehouse, working furniture, flipping burgers. It does not matter what you are doing. You are out here doing what you're supposed to do. You are providing for yourself, providing for your family, whatever the case may be. Keep grinding, man. Keep grinding out here. And don't be afraid to live life to the fullest. Even with everything that is going on right now, keep living your life to the fullest. Do not live in fear because you're just going to be stuck in one place the rest of your life. Turn it all over to God, put it in God's hands, and then go on from there, baby. Remember that. Much love. It's the Coffee King, baby. Peace.